Hi, I'm Chris Astle. I'm the VP of Architecture and Data, and I work at Photobox. So Photobox is Europe's largest personalized photo retailer. We're just over 19 years old. We have 5 million plus customers across 15 markets globally. Um, we make everything from photo books, canvases, mugs, uh, phone cases. We can print a photo on almost anything. We had a legacy uh, data platform. We still have a legacy data platform. There's a lot of our reporting. Problems that we were having with that uh, were that it had grown organically with the business over the years. And um, the biggest problem was, was really around latency and a number of different types of latency from latency of ingest. So we were only able to ingest data daily um, from source systems through to the legacy in which actually analysts and, and people could get access to data. So typically analysts would only have access to data that was maybe anything from a day to a week old and they weren't able to make, make decisions you know, in the timeliness that they needed to, to to be able to run the business. So things have really changed over the last uh, sort of four or five months as we've implemented Snowflake. Um, we're now able to ingest data um, in almost real time from events coming from users' browsers or from internal systems. Um, we're able to push that data into Snowflake, process it and provide it out into a consumption layer that both analysts and commercial teams through dashboards are able to access that data on a, on a sort of pretty real-time basis within five minutes of, of something actually happening. So I think things are still evolving. Um, our first use cases with Snowflake have been very much around uh, our new editor which we've launched and so we've got large amounts of data in, in the four months over 400 million rows of data and we're able to process that and analyze that data in near real time. That was something we just couldn't have done with our old platform. So the future is being able to add more data sources and more data into the system um, but then that will allow us to, to to work very much on sort of the, the historical reporting, which is where we are at the moment. But the future really lies within how do we start to use the data to predict what might happen in the future and be able to help uh, with customer recommendations, help customers make their products better, um, and really support that sort of decision making within the business. So the, I think the key with Snowflake is not that we will spend less on our uh, platform as a whole, but that we'll get much more from it. Um, we'll be able to process data in, in real time and get those insights, get more insights uh, than we were ever able to do uh, with the old platform. And that's where the, the, the savings come, not from the actual cost of running the, the product. I, I, I think in the early days when we started to look at Snowflake, it, it almost seemed too good to be true. Um, and what I would say is that as we've implemented Snowflake, it, it really is as good as it, as it said it was on the tin. You know, being able to query large amounts of data um, that still sits in JSON within S3 um, allows us, um, with, you know, in, in a performant manner without indexes, it's, it, it really is you know, quite amazing what can be done with, with Snowflake. And that's, I think, one of the things that I'm really pleased with, that it's proved to be as good as, as we originally hoped it would be.